जीत जाएंगे हम तू अगर संग है जिंदगी एक दिन एक नई जंग है जिंदगी तू तू ही एक नई आई एम हैप्पी जॉली गो टाइप ऑफ अ पर्सन बट एस द फेट टेक it's done the very deep black day the day in my life when my husband came and said he made me sad sit my daughter only daughter we were sitting he said don't worry everything will be fine you have a cancer and the cancer is in fourth grade i was in advanced stage of cancer and that also ovarian cancer you believe me just sky has fallen on me i was crying 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 my daughter was crying she was just graduation she was just going to write her third year exam i said how why me in march 2019 when i had ovarian cancer they planned it my procedure as three chemos operation by dr anil harur harur and then again three chemos so this all went off well but again fate take turns in 2020 february the cancer Relapsed again, chemo's again. Bevas is Zumba. I was perfectly all right till 2021. Again, 2021, I have detected by the cancer third second time relapse. Then again, that the 2021 was very very bad year. I can say to me because I had a COVID also. Everyone got scared. A cancer patient getting COVID. I was in ICU for five days. but still i fought positively the ladies who are in their menopause who who are just past over the menopause if doctor say remove the uterus please don't hesitate that is the one mistake i have done it we were back doctor said your lining of the uterus is thick please do remove the uterus and ovaries i feel now if i listen that time there is no cancer to me from the age of 45 to 55 Go for regular checkup, regular checkup mammography, pelvic scanning, whatever it is. Regular checkup, you go and take the decision immediately. Don't waste your time. Then definitely you will be away from the cancer to some extent. I I will say that the Fortis Hospital has taken so good care of my Dr. Uma Dangi, sweetheart. She is such a wonderful doctor. She is what you can say a patient. uh uh if she concern the patients is possessive about her patients i have a hobby of singing i i am not so very good singer but we have a small uh, group of uh, uh, we call it as uh, gg unplugged we have a small group of uh, singers we have programs i will sing in short i want to tell you that be positive develop your hobbies concentrate on work so that you will not uh, feel why me again and again and then have a healthy diet and just blindly follow doctors don't take your own advice don't uh, just follow doctor what they say follow it take medicines and what cancer any worse disease also you can capture you will be a winner and always be a winner uh, my husband always used to say me that live for today don't think about tomorrow enjoy the to enjoy today tomorrow when tomorrow comes we'll think of tomorrow so that definitely make lot of change enjoy be happy for today think tomorrow when tomorrow comes then the other thing is enjoyment is not going to a five star hotel or to a five star resort it's a small things be at home you know like my wife and i we play caverns over here um we play a game of chess at least try and do one game every day of chess Now all these things, them they mean they don't cost you more money or anything. But the more important thing is it brings you togetherness over there and diverts your mind away from there. You know, like, just to give an incident, the last time that we were over there, um, she had become breathless. Okay, um, and um, I had gone to park the car. By the time I had come along, they had finished every single possible test that I did. They had finished their the RT PCR test. A blood antigen test, test a blood test and been X-ray. taken x-ray x-ray had been taken ecg had been done and she was being given oxygen over there 
I think about 15-20 minutes, they had finished the entire test. And I think within about an hour or two, all the reports were there. You know, I'm saying they're also very, very, very good in the emergency care. Okay, but they don't treat chemo. I mean, they don't not give chemo, but the other side problems of the side effects of chemo, they're very good. Both business of hospitals treat patients. And that is where I think Fortis and at least chemo oncology departments was full marks, in my opinion. It is very, a lot of patients we have. And they always tell me, why are you thinking negative? Think positive. Like they say, no, uh, the glass is half empty. Why half empty? Why don't you think it is a half full? So think positive. When you go into treatment, what will happen? Why you think what will happen? It will be good. Everything will be good. Don't think negative. So that when I feel negative slightly, he will come and motivate me to think positive. Definitely. Now one positivity of chemo, if you think from positive point of it, People will cry that hair has lost. I also cry hair has lost. But one positive way, my, what my husband told me to think, why don't you think you have a all style of uh, haircuts from bald to the still you grow. You can have whatever hairstyle you want in your life. Which you are not done, you can do it now. So that way, of, that's why my husband is very positive. He always tell me like that. Tu jaha, jaha chalega. Mira saya